So we've already won the title. Two games left in the season. Let's have a bit of fun before we get into the horrors that are the summer transfer special. Shall we? What's up guys, I'm Chasing Lamy and welcome back to Passport to Poland. This is episode number 60-ish, I think. I, I don't know, I've lost track, I've lost count of what I'm doing. Anyway, this is episode number whatever it said on the title card. Um, and the description below. And uh, thank you for being here. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and all that good stuff. We just won the title, as you'll recall. Uh, so, today we're playing Lech Poznan, managed by our former player... Aaron Levy, who is turning into quite a decent manager. It has to be said, he is getting there. He is improving into a decent manager. Uh, they've had a good season this year as well. They are currently sitting in uh, sixth in the table, uh, which is pretty, pretty good for them. And they could find themselves into Europe if they can get a couple of wins in the last two games. But obviously, we'd like to stop them doing that. Um, because as much as we like Aaron Levy, uh, we don't want, to, don't want to lose games ever. So let's look at the, the schedule. Uh, we The Krakow game was the last game you saw. We won the title. That 5-2 absolute route we did. Um, we then... I've just been sh chopping and changing and playing with players and seeing who looks good ahead of the window, to be fair. Um, Brodison started in goal for this one. Um, he's pretty much on his way out. I've, I've started him for the last two games. Uh, for the last game, sorry. For this game against Lechia. Uh We lost 2-1. Peremislav Bargel scored himself a goal. He hasn't played much this season. I think he's only played, what, two or three games this season? Um... But he scored a goal, so that was good for him. Uh, just like, as I said, I'm just trying to trying to figure out who's doing what going forward for, ahead of the window. So lots of rotation going on. Same with the Legia game, uh, which will let me click on eventually. Uh, we lost 1-0, but again, there's a lot of lanes that don't normally start for us. People like the Latka starting, um, and Rhys Devine was about, and you know a, a few of these guys. Well, they don't normally start, but we've we've done some things. Just playing around. And talking of just playing around, today we're playing Lech Poznan. Um, ahead of the window, by the way, I've done my thing where I usually um, I usually do where I've scouted all the players who are out of contract in the Premier League in the summer. One of which is Sergio Aguero, which is quite interesting. If I can get him in, that would be ridiculous for us. Just for shirt sales. Uh, Poznan are the favourites. Um, they're on good form. Our form's inconsistent, but like I said, I've been chopping and changing and playing a little bit. So let's not lose too much sleep over that. We're still top of the table. Um, Alex Rico and Carlos Bacca are out with injuries and John Davis will also not be playing. So this is the lineup that I have gone with for this magnificent occasion. Uh, Bergstrom is starting in goal. We're doing this thing where I'm trying out all the youngsters we have under contract full time. Uh, just to see who's ready, who's going to be ready, who's doing what. So Bergstrom's in goal. Bajalski starts at right back next to Paz, Gomez and Jedrzejczyk. Um Sapowski is starting as the defensive midfielder. Gonzalez and Longstaff are in the middle. Uh, Valdemar Liss is the attacking midfielder. I'll start with Wright and Sterling up top because Kaziah Sterling is close. He's two goals behind being the top goal scorer in the top flight and we'd like him to reach that. None of these players, unless Kaziah Sterling has a hell of a, a hell of an episode, he needs to get four goals I think this episode, um, are going to reach 30 goals for the season. Akira Wright needs six in this episode to get there. It's not impossible, but... It's improbable. Uh, on the bench, we've got Delacca, Fer, Bargel, Magoma, Ferlay, Bacardi, Deschel, and Daniliac. I don't think we've seen Furlong before, have we? Um, Furlong is an Irish left back that we picked up from Brighton, uh, who looks like he could do the business for us if he keeps developing. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with him um, if if he makes the field, of course. So yeah, that's that's the plan for this. But for the next game, I think I'm just going to stick out my kind of legends team because why not but let's get into this one let's beat Poznan because we have the opportunity to beat Poznan I think I think this team's good enough to beat Poznan and if it's not we just did Aaron Levy a favour and we'll hope we don't get some kind of silly fine for playing a week inside because that would be an absolute nightmare way to end the season team warming up is taking forever um, I'm still having those odd computer gremlins that is taking up weird processing power for no reason I don't know why they're starting with this 4-5-1 formation. Anyone there that we recognise as X us? Don't think there is. I don't think I've sold them anyone actually. I think he's been the one one guy who's left us 
to manage elsewhere that hasn't come in for our reserve players, which is interesting. But there we go. Um, one or two of the players playing for us today might find themselves moving on, but we don't know yet. We don't know. We're not going to find out until the next episode for sure when we do the transfer special. So let's kick off. There's no pressure on anyone, which is beautiful. Um, hardly anyone showed up at Poznan today, apparently. I don't know why, but it's just, just what, I guess they're just not caring anymore. <laughs> um, a win would actually put them in, in the qualifying area for the Europa League 2, I believe. I think it's the top four goes into that. So, and certainly two wins, I think, would get them there. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's do a get creative shout, because we'd like to see some goals. Although, Borovix setting up a goal here would be an absolute nightmare. Let's get this clear. It's just gone over the bar. That's that's good enough for us. Bergstrom played in that cup match, you'll remember, where we had that awful penalty shootout that just went on forever. Um, and he didn't look like he knew how to dive for anything. Which concerned me, but he is also on kind of nurturing him and seeing how seeing how it'll go. Although obviously Bradley Wilson is still on loan at Rakoff as well, so there is potential that he's gonna come back an absolute beast. List threads it through to a Kerry Wright on the overlap. Kerry Wright, what a goal. What a, he's not come to play around today. That was an absolutely ridiculous strike from a Kerry Wright. What a strike. Just just filth. You couldn't make filth like that up. Let's have a look. Throw in from Bajalski. Sort of finds Wright, but Bajalski has to pick it up again. List. Quick pass. First time to Wright. And he just smashes that top bins. What a player. What a um, good stuff all around. And they'll lead, which we can definitely, definitely build upon. Let's do another creativity shout. See if we can inspire a second goal. A lot of their players are right. The running in this league is mad because you play like four games in about 10 days or 12 days or whatever it is. Then you have a two week break for internationals and then you play the final three games in the space of about six days or seven days or whatever it is. It's absolute madness. I mean, these last two games take place over, over the course of 48 hours, which is just insane. Um, I don't know why they do it. I haven't bothered asking. Haven't looked it up, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, Jedrashik to Liss. Liss, what can he do? Time to build something great. Longstaff to Jedrashik. Got, got a good chance, Jedrashik, of becoming the next left-back off our left-back production line, by the way. He's he's looking like he could become really good. Uh, Shapowski, Shapakowski, sorry, to Jedrashik. Jedrashik crosses it in. Doesn't find Wright Gonzalez from outside the box. Sterling apparently got his head to it. And it just went over the bar, which, you know, we're looking dangerous. It's half time. It's one nil. Um, Bradley Wright is uh, Bradley Wilson. Sorry, is keeping it for the rack off as well, which is nice to see. Um, I don't think they're in any way involved in the conversation here. They might be. Um, in fact, I'll even go so far as to say if they can find their way somehow into this uh, this European fight, which is looking like an outside bet at best. Um, I would probably extend Bradley Wilson's loan with them. I might even do it anyway, because him getting first team football while we've got Kel Sherpin isn't the worst thing in the world. He could come back a better keeper than Kel Sherpin, which would be worth us paying attention to. Uh, let's do a get creative shout and see what we can do here. Uh, do we need to make any subs right now? There are some players tiring. There's some players not having great games. Um, it's potentially worth it. In fact, let's, let's do a replacement of fullbacks as a starter kit because our fullbacks do do tire. Um, get Delac on and we'll get Furlong on. That seems like a plan. We'll keep one back because Gonzalez might need to have a rest. And uh, there's a few players in there that could fill his boots. So we'll, we'll bear that in mind. I'd like to get Gomez and Paz playing together as well, the two Argentine centre-halves. Um, they feel like they've got a long-term future together at least at domestic level, probably not international level, they're not going to be top internationals, but they're not going to be top internationals. If they, if they reach their potential, they would potentially be good enough for the Polish team, uh, but they're not going to play for Argentina. There's very little chance we're looking at two future Argentine internationals, I'll say that much. Uh, we're going to take off at Diego Gonzalez, um, and we're going to bring on, I think, Maciej Fillet, I think, is going to be the guy coming on, just because... I'm tr still trying to teach him to be that Mazala in the centre. 
because he is a natural winger and I'd like him to get as much experience there as I possibly can. So that's going to be kind of our plan here. We're, it looks like we're going to see a 1 0 win. Enlex dreams of. Oh, Kazaya Sterling picking up a knock isn't helpful. Um, and Lex dreams of making European competition, but they've given us a good go. Their players are exhausted. Um, you'd think Levy would have learned from my thing of, of resting players constantly, but he hasn't. And Akeri Wright is now running through. He's going to thread it through to Sterling. Sterling one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He can't bury it, unfortunately, but it looks like we've got ourselves a corner. And Kazaya Sterling still needs to find himself four goals this episode. Scoring one now would make it a little bit better for him. Now he's picked up that knock. He might not even be fit for the next one, which is a worry. Lisp whips it in, and it just goes straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Intelli on holiday, Valdemar Lisp, if I'm honest. I'm, I'd be surprised if he's not. Um, this is probably the last time he plays this season as well, so we'll let him off. Um, good game all round. We're going to hand that over to the assistant because it doesn't seem like it would... Worth saying worse than the hiccups again. I don't know why I keep getting hiccups whenever I'm on camera. Don't get them any other time, just when I'm on camera. Weird. Um, okay, so... Um, still holding an 11-point lead as well. That's disgusting. Uh, I just want to have a quick look at this Rakoff game just to see how our boy is doing. Bradley Wilson, clean sheet. Done okay there. He's done okay for them um, since going there on loan. He's dragged them up the league. They've not had a, they weren't having a great season until he got there, and they've just kind of dragged up the league. Uh, vintage display. I'm not sure it was vintage, but it was a display. Uh, let's do the press conference. Why not see what they've got to say about anything? Um, Akira, yeah, of course he was. Uh, do you have any reaction to Ante Kovic declaration of interest in signing Vardamar Liss? Um, no. Um, do we see it deteriorating as a relationship? Uh, I don't care enough. Uh, we've used 53 players this season. Can I explain why the figure's so high? Uh, because we give them opportunities to impress, obviously. Uh, Marchetti, has he had a good game? He hasn't even slightly had a good game. Wilson, he's had a decent game. Um, Alex Sala has had a decent game. Um, yeah, it's looking alright, looking alright, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Akira Wright, you were superb in front of goal. Keep it up. And Rocker, who is the Uruguay box, boss, was watching Diego Gonzalez for the next Uruguay squad, which is an interesting turn of events. Okay, I'm going to go skip forward to the next game, and we will see what we can do in our final match of the season. Stick with me. Okay, kids, here we are, the final game of the season at home to Gornik. And, um, yeah, we've, we've... a few things. Uh, Israel Puerto on loan there all season, although he's... Well, most of the season, he's barely played for them, to be honest, which is interesting because he's definitely still our fourth-choice defender and Gornick aren't that much. That, that Being third behind us flatters them because they're still 15 points behind with us not trying for the last two games. Um, also, Carlos Baca is definitely out, so he's played his last ever professional game uh, and Alex Rico is doubtful. So today's team is as follows. Fabianski is in goal, making his first, and I believe his first, I don't think I've used him yet. Yeah, his first and last appearance for us. I believe it's probably his last game of his career, because he is, as I recall, retiring this season. Although I'm sure it'll soon tell me if I try and renew his contract, because, yep, there we go. Um, yeah, he's playing his final game of his career. So, you know, we get to give him a fond farewell. Delatka, Gomez, Gwey and Jedrashik are starting ahead of him. Finson plays his last game for the club as well. He's joining Hanover 96 at the end of the season. Hanover 96 are in the Bundesliga. Although they've just gone down. I think there's 18 teams in the Bundesliga. I might be wrong. Yeah, so uh, that may have been a mistake because he could be playing Champions League football this season. But he chose to sign for them. So he's going to... Um, Rakitic and Modric are playing in the centre of midfield. This will be Luka Modric's last game of his career. Also, Rakitic is here next season, but this will be Luka Modric's last game of the season, last game of his career for sure. Which is sad. He's only able to play apparently for 45 minutes, but we'll milk it as far as we can. Kesuke Honda also playing the last game of his career as the uh, attacking midfielder behind Wright and Deschel because uh, sadly, sadly for us, Kaziah Sterling didn't quite make it. Um, back from that injury he picked up so we're not going to get a 30 goal a season striker it was five today 
which you know it's not impossible but it's not it's not likely so let's submit this team um, and let's get into this final game of the season and see what we can achieve together um, the other thing as well I'm gonna make a make a small change to the tactics I think because I feel like if we're gonna go out I'll take these players out for the last time because I'm not overly bothered by the win I don't think Wright is gonna get himself five goals today no matter what we do if I'm perfectly honest uh, I'm gonna make a very very small change literally at the start of the game um, and put the put the legends in their best positions if we're, gonna, if we're gonna say this is the last time anyone's ever gonna see them and certainly it might not be for Rakitic but it will be for the rest of these guys I figure why not give them a chance to go out and shine show everyone what they can do when they're at their absolute best although this is going to be like a lot of playmakers um, in fact Finson's best position is in central midfielder as well I think it is in central midfield let's make a tactical change why not let's let's like I said we're just having some fun with this uh, his best position apparently is a central midfielder on defend which is not what that said at all um, I guess he'd be a carriero out there that's fine we'll make it work what just he gets over it that's the answer he gets over it and Deschal is at his best as a poacher but I'm not playing a poacher with an attacking uh, with an advance forward so yeah we'll make a little change just because we can because why not um, if we lose we lose we're still 11 points clear at the top of the table being eight points clear at the top of the table doesn't make a lot of difference on the last day of the season but it does give us a chance to say goodbye to the legends as they do their best work in theory Finson trying to get himself sent off on his last game apparently Kaio Mott has got himself a free kick let's get rid of this it's not really it's not really getting rid of it boys the carry of right is going to hoof it clear and Deschal is going to pick that up as so we've got more stuttery madness going on and I don't like it but it's okay Deschal's on a tear one on one with the keeper oh what a goal that was disgusting. He may well have made a late bid for goal of the season. It's not impossible that was his late bid for goal of the season. Let's have a look at that again. He plays it to Deschamps, picks it up in his own half, goes the long way round to get himself into the box, and just slides it in just inside the post. What a finish. We've not seen him score in ages, I don't think. And um, it says it's his 10th goal of the season, but I'm pretty sure it's his first goal. I, mean, I can check. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure. I can check. I think that's his first goal for the seniors this year. Oh, no, it's not. It's his third goal for the senior team. But yeah, he's not had a big he's not had a big playing year to be honest this year. But he's certainly not had a big scoring year. I just think it's it's that's good to see. It's good to see he's still got goals in him. Imagine if he was to get himself to thirty goals, he'd have to score a goal like every two minutes <laughs> from from now on to get there. Uh, I don't think that's very likely. Sekulic gets himself the ball out wide. Gets the cross off. Regardless, there's two men there. He shouldn't do anything, but Finson gets it clear. And uh, now we have got a carry of right on the ball. A carry of right can still, in theory, get himself to 30 goals for the season. He's making his way through. Slides into Shell. One on with the keeper. Vaclav de Shell gets his second goal of the season. Or second goal of the game, sorry. It's apparently his 11th goal of the season that does include games for the seconds. Um, but yeah, two goals. He's going to get himself a hat trick to end the season at home at Wrocław, um, which is not bad going. This this is actually, as a formation, not working out too shabbily for us. I'm not going to lie. I I didn't have the highest hopes, but it's, it could just be we're just that much better than Gornick. It could be because there's nothing to play for and their players are all tired. But we're looking like a good side with this formation. It might be worth us setting this up as a, as a backup in our locker um, or setting up something similar to this as a backup in our locker. Uh, let's do a praise shout. Why not? Uh, throw in from Delatka, Delatka to Rakitic, back to Delatka, and he can go on a bit of a run now. We're just, we're just having mazy runs at the moment. We're not Rakitic. He's picked up the ball, big ball forward, finds the path of Akiri right, who gets tackled. Apparently, it's a foul. If it's a foul, it's a penalty, which means Deschal will take the penalty, which means it will be a hat trick for Vaclav Deschal if he scores it, which he should do. No excuses from 12 yards. Boom. Buried, hat-trick, first half. Pretty much doubled his tally for the season for the first team in a single game. Uh, that's that's no social distancing going on here. Um, that's insane. That's insane for him to get a hat-trick in this game. But he's done it. He's done okay. 
Um, Kieran Wright would be furious. If he'd got himself this hat-trick, he'd be within two goals of 30 for the season. Um, just worth bearing in mind, for what little it's worth, go into the dressing room and uh, challenge the team to go out and prove Absolutely, let's do that. Go out, prove a point. Spacked, backed out for the second half. I'm going to do more praise. Let's see if we can run up a cricket score. We're going to have plus 47 goal difference already anyway. Um, but also, I don't want Fabianski to not keep a clean sheet in his final game as a goalkeeper. Because that feels unduly harsh on the guy. Um, you know, he should at least be able to go out saying in his last game, nothing got past him. So I, I think we'll probably keep it as it is. Unless he concedes one while we're playing like this, then we'll just go for it. Um, which it could happen now. Carlo Kaio Mota is having a run at us. Into the box, has a pop. Fabianski is more than equal to that. And it's looking like thinking about substitutions. Um, and to be honest, I've got to take off a central midfielder anyway to make subs. Uh, we'll take Luka Modric off. He can get some applause. We'll send for Leon because he is the only under-22 on the bench. Um, so we'll make that our first sub. He can have his big standing ovation. His career is done. And then we'll give it a minute and we'll take off. We'll put on Felipe Cruz and we'll put on, uh, yeah, we'll put on Nilic. Why not? Uh, for Jedrashik and Delatka, and that should be enough to see us through. Um, and yeah, it's been a, been a good season. We've won the title. We're 13 points ahead as things stand. I'd like to get more goals, but I'm not going to be greedy. We've we've had three. That's quite a lot. Um, although, like I said, if they score, we're just going to go and try and absolutely rip them. That's risky. He's consulting VAR. Risky. It's given a penalty for that. Absolute joke. Come on, make yourself a hero. Fabianski, final game. Go on, have yourself have yourself a penalty save. Do it. Oh, he's so close. So close to having himself a penalty save. But also, let's go very attacking. Let's just see if we can absolutely rinse them on the way out. Why not? Because, you know, why why would we not try and absolutely rinse them on the way out? Um, goal difference has gone up. I'm not sure how many goals we scored this season. I'd be interested to see how many goals we scored this season. It is possible we've got to the 100 goals mark, and I've not noticed. It's very possible we've got to 100 goals, and I just haven't seen it. Uh, Felipe Cruz in for Wright. Wright plays it back to Cruz. Cruz whips it in. That's going to go to Deschal. Is that a fourth? That's a fourth goal for Vaclav Deschal. He's going to review it. Oh, it's been disallowed. He didn't even get to see the replay before it was disallowed. That's annoying. Oh, well, that's a 3-1 win on the last day of the season. We've said goodbye to some legends. And, uh, yeah, that's... I hate when I don't pay attention. He just doesn't give them any praise. Um, I'm very happy. Good. Yeah, I saved that for you. Good job. Right, that is the end of the season. I'm very interested to see if we're going to get our end of season awards right away. I th think we probably do fairly quickly after this. Um, he's out. Oh, it doesn't matter how long he's injured for. Uh, he's made his return to Polish football, but also he's made his last appearance in Polish football. End of the season. How much of a game? <sighs> yeah. Everyone enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was good times. It was a tremendous hat trick. Um, You've asked me that question a million times. How pleased were you to see him back? I was. I was pleased. Right, we'll give Deschal the praise he deserves. I didn't see what Wilson's uh, what Wilson's performance was like. Uh, they got a win. He's looked like he looks like he's played well. Good, good, good. I'm quite happy with his loan so far. He's developing into quite a keeper. Um, quite a keeper. If we look at his. Uh, scout summary it should say like he is he is developing nicely come on why won't you why won't you show me his reports right um yeah he's definitely on course to become a top top keeper for us um and yeah i might even might even have a look at extending that loan if i can because that will be interesting we've received 1.29 million which means financially we are doing okay um because that should be our end of season balance, I guess. 2.38, yeah. Uh, which is not bad, considering at one stage we were project 
projected to lose absolute millions over the course of this season. And of course, our wage budget. We had this. This was confirmed as our budget, by the way, for um, for the summer window. It's not a great budget, but this will go down um, because a lot of players who are on big money are about to retire. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, right, let's have, just have a quick look before we skip forward to see some end of season awards. Um, and then we'll see, because I'm, I'm literally just because I'm curious if we scored 100 goals or not. That's, that's genuinely what I'm looking for, just to see if we, we've scored 100 goals over the course of the season. Uh, championship group, 475. We didn't get 100 goals, but that's absolutely fine. Right, let's click forward just to see if we get our magical uh, awards. And if we don't get them in a second, then I'll just wrap up the episode because, you know, we can start the transfer special with it tomorrow or we can just, you know, do the transfer special and get ourselves to the first game of next season ready for our, I guess we are fifth season in Poland now. Um, two titles in four seasons is not a bad return. Hopefully we can get a third in five and then we can just keep... Keep securing the title. My big priority, I think, for the transfer window is going to be a defensive midfielder because uh, we've lost Finson. We've got Salah, who can play there. We have Nolan and Bemba out on loan as well, who can also play there. And he's been scoring quite a few goals while he's been away, so we might just go with what we've got and uh, see if we can just recruit some good youngsters or see what comes up available on freeze. That will probably be the one. Is this going to get us to the new, um, new day anytime today? That will be nice. It'd be incredibly nice if we got there. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Come on, faster, faster. End of season awards. Open up. Come on. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Right. This should take us to the end of season awards in the inbox, I think. Do that for us. We'll see who won what. We'll see who our players of the season are. And we will see who is going to get got or see our goal of the season right Gornick have got themselves a Europa Cup 2 ticket beautiful uh, scouting meeting I'll pay attention to that later I've run out of superlatives to the show right who's inducted into our best 11 Mark Gway has been inducted into our best 11 although only on the bench um, which is saying something Magoma Davis and Rossetti have also become part of the history so our starting 11 or starting best 11 ever is, Cru is Sherpin Cruz Gomez, Puerto, Piaszczek, Finson, Ledley, Longstaff, Ina Bakare, Sterling and Wright. Uh, only two of those starting players have left the club so far. So Piaszczek uh, is out at Sassuolo. He's played four games since joining them. And apparently would only be a useful signing for us, which is interesting. Um, looks like I did good making that money for him. Uh, Ina Bakare as well is currently at Bristol City. He's been playing in the Premier League. He's at 18 appearances. I suspect they've just gone down because I can't imagine Bristol City surviving the Premier League. Oh, they might might just survive at the expense of Leicester or Wolves, um, which no one wants because we don't want to see Bristol City do well, ever. Uh, who else is in this team that is one of ours uh, or has left left us? Paris Magoma isn't one. He wasn't what I was aiming to click for. Premislav Palacheta, uh, who was at Pordenone. Uh, he's had a weird time since he left. So he left us, you remember, a couple of seasons ago to join Atlant Atalanta. 1.3 million played two games for them um got himself in the polish national team somehow in the process because he never played for them while he was with us won five caps for the national team and then has been on loan in series c and you've got to think he's got to be available to buy or will be very soon um yeah he's had a torrid time the other guy that left of course was camille dankowski who uh, has had a move since we last checked in on him because he was uh he left us for charlois for 2.6 million uh, he's played, what, 18 league games for them, and now he's on loan at uh, Valenciennes in Ligue 2 in France. So, yeah, he's maybe not developing as we'd have thought. He's also not had an international cap. I would have sworn he would become an international. End of season awards. Player of the season, Akiri Wright, 76%, obviously. Keziah Sterling, 11%. And Colbyn Bergia Finson, in his last season at the club, gets himself 8% of the vote. Uh, goal of the season was Paris Magoma against Rinsky, which means I know we live stream this, we live com this, because that was right at the start of the season, uh, in the uh, the Europa League two, just before we got to the group stage, I believe. I think Zrinski was the 
fourth qualifying round off the top of my head. May have been slightly earlier than that, but I think it was the fourth qualifying round. I think this was his massive screamer from outside the box. I think this is this is why in my head every time I see him pick up the ball outside the box, I just wanted to have a pop. We'll have a we'll have a little look see. Piaszek, oh, miss Piaszek, ball into Magoma, and this is just has that pop from there. It's absolutely um, yeah. That was his big moment. Got himself goal of the season for us. Matthew Longstaff are signing the season on a free from Newcastle and Kaziah Sterling are young player of the season. Stats wise, Kaziah Sterling top goal scorer with 26. Akira Wright highest average rating at 7.49. Most assists. Valdemar Liss and Felipe Cruz getting 13 each, which is not bad for considering Valdemar Liss is a five foot youngster. He's currently wanted by 14 clubs. They are going to be very disappointed unless one of them has a lot of money, which none of them do, to the best of my knowledge. Um, we've got George McEachern with the best pass compl completion, 92%. Akira Wright and Kasaya Sterling have had eight man of the match awards each. Mark Gway and Igor Gomez, ten yellow cards each. And Finson, Magoma, Gway and Williams have all been sent off this year, which is not a great disciplinary record. Our season review is... Um, we've done okay. Uh, we were expected to make... We've been expected to make much of the title running and lived up to our filling by finishing top of the pile. It was a season of success, blah, 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 blah. Won the extra class, uh, lost in the semi-final of the Cup. Knocked out in the group stage of the Euro Cup. Average attendance was 36% full. Um, I'm very interested just quickly to see our club vision because I haven't checked that in quite a while. I'm hoping we're either a B plus or an A. B minus. Disappointed we've not made the most of set pieces, but also... Um, they wanted us to, you know, do such weird things as win the league or finish top two and all sorts of stuff. I don't understand. It's fine. Uh, we'll we'll make it better. Our visions and expectations are fat. Let's go. Let's do it now. Um, I'm going to see if I can negotiate off making the most of set pieces because I find that incredibly difficult. No. There we go. Get rid of that. Perfect. They're looking to sell the club. What? What is this? We're looking to sell the club. We might, we might get a, a big money backer, guys. That could be a thing. Um, right, they've been formally ratified. Good times. Right, our squad dynamics update. Everything looks good. Managerial support is strong. Our leaders are right. Sterling, Modric. Uh, presumably, one of these guys is going to move up into there. I would be very surprised if it wasn't Matty Longstaff. Um, end of season break. That's fine. Less on the move. They've they're desperate to. How are Hibs going to find 2.8 million? Have they had a takeover? They must have had a hell of a takeover. Because I refuse... They've got 2.8 million lying around. I just refuse to believe that. Um, Seattle have made enough for Daniel Ballard. Who I don't know if that's a player we were, look at, we were seriously looking at. Um, but, you know, I'll have a look at that tomorrow. And, yeah, we're going to play on the team of the week as well. Just to make, round things off. Backlav de Charles. Okay, right, let's wrap up the episode before we end up going to a four-hour four hour episode of me doing nothing. Right, guys, that has been the end of the episode and the end of the season. Thank you much for watching. As always, socials are down there. Like and subscribe down there, because if you don't like and subscribe, then um, I'm going to ask Iron Man to steal all of your children's toys. Feels like, feels like the kind of thing he'd be up for, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. And as always, I've been Chasing Lamely. Have a good one.